switch be? Do you ever see over the top? From zero to hero. Something yeah, I did. I did. Switch. <laughs> Welcome back in Smoker and Society, Anvil. Luke. How you doing? <laughs> I'm really I'm re I'm really hitting a creative void lately. Uh what's up with that? I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's you gotta get your energy up, man. You it gotta must be what you know, it is. Slam a fucking Red Bull or let's, a monster. Let's get the energy up there right you now. Go. Come on. Cheers. Maybe it's because maybe it's because of these guys. Stop bears. Stop bears. Be miserable. All right. What do we got? What are we doing? What are we reading? Serve beer from your Christmas tree with Miller Lights new kickstand. Mm. I like everything about that. Yep. Except for Miller Lite. The holiday season is a time for friends and family to celebrate around the Christmas tree. Blah, 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 blah. Get to the best part. Miller Lite must think that's a valid question. Because the original light beer brand is about to unleash their first ever Christmas tree egg stand. First ever? First Seems ever. Like something they should have been making since the 70s, at least. A bizarre invention allowing users to pour draft beer from the base of their Christmas tree. Great. Finally. Finally. Going on sale as part of Miller Lite's annual holiday collection, the Christmas tree peg stand is built as a fully functioning tree stand designed to fit perfectly around the quarter barrel peg of Miller Lite. Let's get wait with it. All right, we got. Let's let's roll it up and let's see what it looks like. Oh, there it is. Amazing. It's, honestly, it's high time that the geniuses in the beer and beverage industry started catering towards us stands. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is great. Like, it's, it's, you're sitting there, you're, you know, doing whatever you do on Christmas and stuff like that. And then you just, well, all huddled around the tree anyway, right? So this way you just. Exactly. When the kids, you know, the kids are waking you up at 5 30 in the morning. Yeah. And you're hungover from yeah. the night before partying, you know, yeah. ringing in a little Christmas cheer. Yeah. You're going to need a little something to take the edge off, right? Well, well there's God. There again. So you just kind of, you lean over there by the Christmas tree and yeah. get the tamper, you pour <laughs> yourself on and you. You choke it down. Well, there's no better way to cure a hangover than more liquor. Exactly. By the time you get to the end of that first beer, you're like, you're feeling good. You yeah, know, you're back in the going, Christmas hey, beer. Absolutely. Where's the mistletoe, baby? <laughs> 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 like, I mean, who dislikes somebody that much to buy them that much Miller Lite? Like, I wouldn't do that to anyone I dislike. My dad loves Miller Lite. Sorry. I have Miller Lite in the refrigerator right now. And Ooh. honestly, listen. I, you know, that's what I started drinking because that's what was always in the house. If I'm stealing beer, well, I got to steal Miller Lite. Yeah. So, you know, when yeah. I'm 17, 21, sorry. <laughs> when yeah, I'm you're stealing not beer, you can't uh, I, yeah, I'm stealing Miller Lite, you know, so that's how you start drinking. And then, I mean, it's, hey, it's got its place. If you're going to crush beers on a hot summer day, yeah, perfect. That's fine. Perfect. But what I'm not saying. everybody can be you drinking beer with the, fucking golden girls on the can it's not the golden that's girls. the golden girls read the, read the name of the beer you got some kind read of read the name of the beer grainy fetish read the name of the beer. i don't need to that's the golden girl working for the weekend double ipa uh -huh. who made that song the golden girls <laughs> and their grandson's lover boy <laughs> um here's what i'm doing right when i'm getting this thing and i am getting this thing I'm not gonna dump out the beer because that's you know we don't. Wait I don't think it comes with beer. You got you just get the stand. You gotta buy your own. Oh well, that's even better. I'll just fill it with good beer. Well, whatever you want. Yeah, I'll fill it with good beer. I'll fill it with Golden Girls beer. And yeah, yeah, because that's really awesome. Hey, you know, while you're talking all this nonsense, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. What you call a life first? Call is, it, is it okay if I get a keg stand for the Christmas tree? Uh, I would have to run that by her because I'm going to get it and then she's going to be like, what the fuck is this? I don't want this under That's my tree. That's not going under my tree. No, she's Polish. They're hardcore about their tree being fucking perfect. Perfect. What constitutes a perfect Christmas tree? Whatever she thinks it is. Like, like every ornament has to be like right there. Every light has to be on. Which all of our perfectly like symmetrical, oh, like, aligned, and there yeah. has to be a like a color theme and scheme and all this shit. Like it's got to be perfect. It's exhausting. It is exhausting. That's why I don't. I don't. You know, let's just move on. Come on. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Like, share, 
subscribe. We love you. Ha, <laughs>